Word allows you to maintain properties related to your document. Two of the properties you can use are the document title and subject. In this quick tip, I show you how to define these and then use them in your document. Word keeps track of many pieces of information about your document. You can see the information maintained by Word by displaying the File tab of the ribbon and then clicking Info at the left side of the screen. You can see some of the properties at the right side of the screen. Two of the most useful properties maintained by Word are the document title and the document subject. You can see the title is right here and if you wanted to, you could click on this and type a title in. But there is no field in here for subject. If you would like to see that, then what you need to do is you need to click on this properties title right up here and then choose advanced properties. Word then displays the properties dialog box for this particular document. Notice as well that the summary tab of this dialog box is what's displayed on the screen. The title and subject properties are the very first ones that are displayed on this tab of the dialog box. When you go and look at this for a document that you've had created for a while, you may see that the title field already has something in it. That's because Word may try to guess what it should use as a title for this particular document. However, it won't make any guesses about the subject field. Both of these fields can be changed by you to reflect the nature and the content of your document. Now the document that I have open on the screen is a brand new document and I'm going to place some information in these two fields. So I'm just going to click here within this title and then I'm going to say super document. And then I'm going to tab down to the subject field and I'm going to place in here just, oh, I don't know, just some words that describe the subject that is within this document. So I'll say this is a testing document. And now when I go ahead and click on the OK button, the properties dialog box goes away and these properties have been saved. In fact, you can see on the screen here that the title field has been filled in. It's been updated to reflect what we just placed within the properties dialog box. I can now use either of these properties anywhere that I want to in my document, such as in headers, footers, or directly within text. To use them, all I need to do is to place the insertion point where I want the property to appear. So for instance, if I want it down here, I can put some parentheses in here with the idea that I'm gonna put the document title right in here within parentheses. Well, in order to place it in there, all I need to do is display the insert tab of the ribbon like we have on the screen. And then I'm gonna click on the quick parts tool right over here and I'm gonna choose field. That allows me to uh, see the field dialog box on the screen. And what you wanna do is make sure that document information is what's selected over here in the categories list. That shows all of the fields for the information about this document. You can see that there is a field here for title and for subject. There's a number of uh, information fields that you can place in here. I'll leave it up to you to go ahead and explore the dialog box and the various fields that you can put in. The whole concept behind fields is that it allows you to put dynamic content into, into your document. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click title right down here and then I'm going to click on OK. And now you can see that that document title that we set just a few moments ago appears within the document here. It's in here as a field. The beauty of placing these fields into your document is that if you ever go back and change either the title or the subject, then Word will update the information displayed in your document when you go to print it. In other words, the content is dynamic and can be updated at any time that you desire. 
I hope that you enjoyed this quick tip. If you did, be sure to click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way YouTube will keep you informed whenever new videos are added to the WordTips channel. Thanks for spending a few moments with me today.